Look at this. Five different colors there, clear to blue. And you can actually watch this. Layer them in a straw. What's the secret to this? Density. It's super, super easy to do and kind of a cool way to learn something about density at the same time. All right, so all of these liquids are not the same. In fact, I'll show you how to prepare them. We start here with five cups. So they're all going to have water and in fact, the same amount of water. So density is mass divided by volume. So we're gonna keep the same volume in each one of these, same volume, but we're gonna add something to each one of these, not just food coloring, but we're gonna add table salt, all right? So there's gonna be a different concentration of table salt in each one. So that's what density is really all about. It's the amount of stuff, so to speak, in a particular area. So no salt in this one here, that'll be the clear one. Let's just put a teaspoon in here. Let's do two teaspoons in this one. You're right, there's a lot. Three in this one. Yeah, that's a lot. You can see that we could dilute those later on if we wanted to. And finally, four in this one. Two, there's a ton. Three, and we're really gonna stir those. We're gonna put food coloring in each one so they dissolve. So you can see that we have clear, red, I'll put in yellow, green, and then blue. Transfer all of that over here, and that's exactly what we have. So we have no salt in this one here, and we have uh, one, two, three, four teaspoons of salt in this one over here. So now we're gonna do that old trick where you put your thumb over the straw and you can trap the air and then be able to pull it up, right? You know what I'm talking about. So you put it down like this, put your thumb over the top, and then lift up, and you can pick up some of the, uh, the liquid, right? Mom said don't play with your food, but now it's paying off. So look, I should be able to put, for example, clear here, so no salt at all, and come over here, and let's see if I can let go. You can layer it. See, no problem at all. Now, if you do it the opposite way though, that's when you run into problems. So if you start blue here, and now we take it over to clear, and we put it in there, we'll look at how it just all mixes. It doesn't layer at all. So uh, if you didn't know the concentrations, you could kind of try it this way. Let's see, I think that uh, that red is gonna be less dense then the green, so we'll do our holiday colors right there and slowly let it up and in there. You got it, there is your layer, so it's easy to be able to do. So when you wanna do the whole thing, it's just gonna take a little bit of patience. Ready, so we dip it down, we let go, and we put it down into the next one and just let your thumb go, the air pressure pushes it up, so that's our next layer there. You just kinda of gotta guess how much each one can go down. The, uh, the taller the glass, the easier it is to do. Finally, one more at the very top. Let's see if I can get just a little bit of blue. Ah, got just a little bit of blue there. And there are your liquid layers in the straw. Now, anything worth doing is worth overdoing, so it's fun to do in a straw. It's great to do in a great big huge cylinder like you see here, and for that, well, I just had to have a modified funnel so I could slowly layer each one of these in here and to create this amazing layer. It's something that you can do. It's easy to do and understand something about density at the same time. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Liquid Layer Stacking Science Minute. That looked fun.